right guys, today we're gonna talk about something near and dear to my heart, and that is the proper disposal of the liquids that you create while 3D printing. Because I've been seeing a lot of posts online of people like being macho, I guess, or, or trying to sound cool or tough saying, I don't, I don't use gloves and I dump my stuff right down the drain and I, I rinse off parts in the sink. Don't do that. This is 3D printing. This is, you know, making tabletop games, pieces and other silly, you know, nerd things. This isn't a, this isn't a tough hobby. If you want to get into a tough hobby, there's cage fighting, sword collecting, um, I don't know, cat burglary. There's other things, but this is just a fun hobby where you should be able to do it without destroying the environment. So <laughs> let's get on board with it. Um, so this is a vat, uh, a pickle jar full of the Mean Green that I used to, to pre-rinse my um, miniature prints, my 3D resin prints in before I put them into the other Mean Green that's in my um, ultrasonic cleaner underneath this table, underneath this, this, this desk. So after a while, uh, this isn't settled because I just used it, but this this stuff has been used for about a month and a half, probably cleaned hundreds of minis. It's got a, it'll get a, see how it's all cloudy? It gets like, it'll, when it settles, it'll have like a residual layer, like a third, almost halfway up of just like thick, gross, um, uh, uncured resin. When this gets to one third to one half of the layer, um, when it's settled, of, you know, showing the resin, I know that this mean green's getting kind of funky and it's probably a little bit too, too old to use. So what do I do? Do I throw it down the sewer? Do I throw it down? Do I wash it down the sink? Do I feed it to a dolphin? No, I do not do that. And you shouldn't either. Very simply, you collect bottle, just uh, over the over the weeks and months of your life, uh, whenever you have like a large plastic bottle, uh, like from, you know, orange juice, milk, uh, something, maybe the, the big bottles that Mean Green or Mr. Clean or IPA come in, come from, save them, put them in your garage. And when it's time to change your stuff, very simply, put them in here. I'll show you how. Uh, I don't know. It's not really that interesting. This is a pickle jar. I'm taking out the inside lining. I'm going to wipe this down with a paper towel on the inside and out. I'm not going to rinse out in the sink because I don't, that's counterproductive of what I'm trying to accomplish here. Uh, I take my bottle. See, I've got some pre existing stuff that I've taken out on previous yucky, schmeggy looking stuff. Get a funnel, wear gloves, and let's gently dump this stuff back from whence it came. It'll foam up a little bit, so you might have to change bottles or let it settle a little bit. It'll splash in your table a little bit too. But long story short, um, I've got one bottle here. I'll, put, I'll close it and let it settle. Uh, I think I have another bottle down here that I stored just for this case. I do, guys. This is another. It can be any brand of orange juice That's, or, or liquid, whatever. Uh, get the funnel. Do, do, do. Put it in here. Then again, I'm going to wipe this out inside and out with, a, um, with, a, with some IPA and a a paper towel and I, I'm good to go. I can cure the paper towel in my, in my curing station to make sure that I'm not making additional gross yuckiness for the planet. And then you're like, what to do, do with these bottles? Again, what do you do with them? You, you just put them in your garage and then once, you know, once a week, once a month, or once every few months, collect your bottles and take them down to your local hazardous disposal place. You can find it online. I live in Southern California in Orange County. We have several of them. There's one a few miles from my house. It's only open two or three days a week, you know, like from 10 to four or something like that. I look online, see when it's open, see when I'm able to take it. And when, you know, once a month and once every couple months, I take you know four or five or six of these bottles down and I just drop them off. And they're happy to take them because they're not going into the earth. And it's a really you know low impact, low effort, low stakes way to not be dumping toxic chemicals back into the water table, water system, you know, environment, etc. So don't be a jerk. Don't try to be cool and tough. Don't don't dump things in the sink. Put them in bottles. Take them where they're supposed to be, uh, so you can be a conscientious. 3D resin printer.